Cool, so uh, hey what's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the masking transition from my last video, I know uh, I know a few of you guys wanted to see it so this is how I did it. What I did was just put a mask on this shot and then I just keyframed it all the way across until the next shot was revealed. Okay, so this was the shot before the mask and I actually cut out that pillar there just to make it be easier. Otherwise, it would have turned into a really complicated mask and it would have took forever. Before you put your mask on, what you need to make sure is that this clip is, if you want to stabilize it, uh, stabilize it. If you want to do, put any effects onto that clip, then just do that before you um, draw your mask because it will affect the mask. Okay, so you want to go to effects, um, masks, and then draw, draw mask. You want to go just a little bit ahead of where your mask is going to start. Basically, just start adding the, uh, the points on the mask. Okay, so now you've got the first step of the mask done. What you need to do is go to transform, hit the keyframe button on position, and then also go to scale, hit the keyframe button on scale, and now you're ready to start keyframing your mask. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna skip forward a frame with the right arrow, one frame, and then just simply move your mask Move the points, skip the frame again, move it again. If you see that you need some extra points in the mask, then you can do that by just right clicking, add point, and then move that up a little bit. And that will just be added into the into the keyframes, and that will come in when it's needed. Okay, once your mask is fully done, then what you need to do is you need to smooth it out. So we're going to go to feather. I'm going to turn feather up a little bit, and then fall off. A little bit, a little bit down, and that'll just smooth it off. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The only thing I don't like about this shot is you can see the reflection on the uh, on the train window. But <laughs> oh well. So yeah, that's how you do the uh, mask transition in Final Cut Pro. Hope you liked it, and let me know what you want to see next.